If a patient comes with a complaint of a voice disorder, uh, part of the evaluation is just talking to the patient so I can listen to their voice. Um, having them tell me about their complaints or even tell me about what they do for a living gives me an opportunity to listen to the voice and do, we call it a perceptual evaluation of voice so that I can get a sense of, of how um, abnormal the voice is and then the next part is a, a manual exam, so I have to feel their neck, and you can feel the tension and feel um, the way they're producing voice. Um, and then the third component is doing an endoscopic exa examination of the voice box, a laryngoscopy, uh, usually combined with a stroboscopy, which allows us to look at the vibratory parameters of the voice box. It's something we can videotape. I can give a copy of the video to the patients at the time of their visit. Um, it can also do laryngeal EMG, partnered with one of my um, neurology colleagues to look at the neurologic function of the larynx. Um, I also do in-office um, injections um, as for vocal fold paralysis, as well as in-office injections for Botox for things like spasmodic dysphonia in the office.